everybody, this is Captain Kyle, and I have a very exciting interview. I'm here with Justin and David. They're with Bluefin slash Bondi slash a whole bunch of things, and they have some exciting news about what's happening this weekend at the San Diego Comic-Con Thanksgiving Day Parade, or well, whatever the event is exactly called, the the, uh, the con that they're doing. Uh, first of all, guys, how are you doing today? I am fabulous, David. How are you doing? I am fantastic. San Diego Comic Con Special Edition. It's special. Uh, kind of like the Star Wars wristband. Special Editions. We got wristbands. That's how cool we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have a wristband. Been checked. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. I understand there's a couple exciting new exhibits that you're going to have there, and. Yeah, I, I imagine that people are going to want to check it out. There's something called nanoblocks. I've heard rumor about. Can you tell me what what's a nanoblock? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, nanoblocks are the, uh, the original micro-sized uh, building block. They are a sophisticated block uh, that you will have the time of your life with putting things together. Uh, we're very excited about it. This is going to be their first presence at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, they're a blast. We're going to have a workshop where people can come, children of all ages. Uh, ideally, they are for people 12 and up. Uh, but we'll have a workshop where people can can put together and create these awesome things and take them with them. But uh, they have multiple different uh, categories, everything from like licensed characters, like Dragon Ball, Pokemon, My Hero Academia, Kirby, Crash Bandicoot, you name it, Sonic, that's another one. Uh, then there's also like really cool stuff, like uh, uh, characters that are uh, like just non-licensed stuff, like pandas and elephants, uh, lots of animals. And the food. Food, there's like slices of ramen, yes. All kinds of cool stuff. And then there's even like more advanced stuff, uh, like uh, the Sight to Sea series, things that are that are more um, like landmark things. Yeah. Like Statue of Liberty, Big Ben, uh, the Eiffel Tower, stuff like that. So it's really cool. Even the Titanic, for crying out loud. So if you want to do 100 to 300 piece little Pokemon, or you want to do like thousands of pieces and build a ship and, and have the best ultimate bathtub toy in the world, mm. you can do that. Yeah, but the little pieces. So they're going to go down the drain. So make sure you got the stopper in. Otherwise, you're going to lose nanoblocks. <laughs> Your ship's just never going to go back together the right way. Right. If you're going to be in San Diego Comic Con Special Edition, uh, we are going to be having a free workshop for the for little Poke Plot kits, little Pokemon balls, Poke Balls. That's yes. the word. I couldn't find the Poke Ball word. Uh, it's two uh, words. I think it's just one word. I put Pokemon Go. It's just one word. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, Poke Ball. P O P K. P O K E. I think that's the nano block. Don't make me Google it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun, and uh, like Justin said, the nanoblocks, they're very interesting uh, just because, you know, they're, they're they're very little and they make these these real intricate things, and they really lend themselves amazingly to, uh, like, 8-bit retro style stuff, so, like, we have a, we have a bunch of Pac-Man stuff, we're going to have, you know, you know, like, Space Invaders and stuff like that, and it looks really cool. We were just at Anime NYC in New York, uh, and we displayed a lot of our anime uh, versions of nanoblocks. We had My Hero Academia, we had Dragon Ball, we had Demon Slayer. Uh, and everyone's just losing their minds over it because it's such, there's such great licenses and, and like, oh my God, like Kermit. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, what's the size? You say they're very small. Yeah, they're about two and a half inches tall when they're totally built. Like at least the character ones. Uh, a lot of, some, there are a few Pokemon that are taller than others. Like Scorbun has got these ridiculous uh, ears. So he's like a three inch tall one, but most of them are, are two to three inches tall. Uh, anywhere from like 120 to 300 pieces. Uh, I wish I had one handy to show you, but um, if they were in the palm of my hand, it would stand about like that much taller. Well, when you edit this, just put superimpose it on there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Give him the extra work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fix it in post, as they say. Yes, absolutely. So how many different products do you have that these nanoblocks, I mean... Oh, hundreds. Hundreds. I was going to say, you might not know exactly. Yeah, definitely hundreds. Uh, there's a lot, and they come out all the time. Um, in fact, like Pokemon alone, there's... Before we just did our, our last announcement of new Pokemon figures, it was well over 30, so... Uh, just Pokemon alone, I think, is upwards of 50 characters now, so that's awesome. Uh, you, if you can think it, and Nanoblock probably has uh, a, a kit for it. I asked you how, how big the figures. I actually want to know how big are the individual Nanoblocks? Do they vary in size? Or are they little? <laughs> yeah, they're like four. I think it's like four four millimeters by four millimeters by three. I had the dimensions handy dandy once, but I don't have them in front of me anymore. But they're they're pretty small. The real uh, the real small, but thin. Uh, usually no more than like like four little nanoblock pegs wide. So yeah, they're, they're they're pretty small. So, and it really helps with like that intricate detail, you know, mm -hmm. in that it's not so huge and bulky. Uh, you know, you can really, really start to see like the shapes of faces and stuff like that, just because, you know, it has that, uh, that really, really fine detail. 
Uh, and they actually they actually have tweezers, like nanoblock tweezers that picks it up by the nub and stuff like that. Makes, you know, I have these big giant sausage hands, so it makes it way easier to do it. Uh, and so it, it, it makes, it turns something that could be frustrating to something that's a lot of fun. Well, that's cool. And, and hence why it's, you know, 12 and up, because, you know, a four-year-old's gonna probably Right. Them like jelly beans, and we don't want that. <laughs> no, it don't hurt when you step on them for crying out loud. That's true. So a little, little yeah. Kevin McAllister at home alone cannot use nano blocks as a defense weapon. As a father of two boys, <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I stepped on a, a Lego or something like that. So yeah, nano blocks not being so dangerous to your feet is a huge plus. Yes, absolutely. Where can nano blocks be found? Are they just in regular toy stores, or are they like online, or or are they everywhere? Sure. Are so right dating? now you can get them on uh, Amazon, uh, Barnes and Noble, uh, GameStop's carrying the Pokemon ones. Uh, there are a couple other retailers like Kino Kunia, uh, Miniso. Uh, but your best bet, if you're just anywhere in the country, is to go to Amazon.com and uh, find them there. Yeah. And if you're buying Miniso, a lot of them have uh, displays, nanoblock displays, where they've uh, they've taken large uh, large statues that they've actually built with nanoblocks of you know something like uh, like a Pikachu, Pikachu. or Pac Man yeah. or something like that. Uh, they have these really uh, ornate displays and stuff like that, and you can see just just how big the line is, and it's just so great to see. So if you're buying Minnesota or even a Kinokuniya, I was in one the other day, and they had a lot of uh, displays as well. Uh, go check it out. Um, but yeah, if you're just somewhere where you're not buying one of those kind of stores, yeah, Amazon's a great option. Now, what is the Studio Ghibli line that I, sure. I've heard about? Sure. So yeah, Studio Ghibli uh, is also really big in Japan, and then now here in the United States, uh, you know, like uh, movies like uh, the Miyazaki films. So you have like uh, Straight Away, Straight Away uh, Totoro, and um, Princess Mononoke, Howl's Moving Castle. Uh, so we basically have several product lines from those movies. Uh, anything from like home goods, uh, like towels and um, kitchen items, uh, blankets, plushies, puzzles, paper theaters, uh, figurines, uh, you name it. Uh, we have a lot of really cool Ghibli stuff. It's fantastic. And then we'll actually have a, an awesome exhibit at San Diego Comic Con Special Edition, uh, where we have a Totoro uh, bus stop uh, location, which will be really cool. It's an awesome photo op uh, where everyone can take their picture. They can tag uh, World of Ghibli US, and uh, they'll be entered in for a giveaway to win some really cool Studio Ghibli stuff. And we're Ooh. actually the um, the official distributor in North America for Studio Ghibli products. So if you get it from us, then it is official. Yeah, Barnes and Noble carries a lot. So if you're at Barnes and Noble, they'll usually have a display. They'll have you know a bunch of stuff from Totoro or Kiki uh, or Princess Monoki or Spirit Away. Uh, so check out at Barnes and Nobles, uh, and uh, if they don't have it, ask for it because I know they have a lot. Kinokuniya is another you know specialty store that's you know um, I think there's like 15 stores in the United States. So if you buy one of those, they have a ton of Ghibli. Uh, like I said, I was just there. They had more Ghibli than I'd ever seen in one place before. So it's, yeah. uh, it was a great place. And I take it the Ghibli stuff is like. Depending on what it is, you know, the age range changes. Like figurines might be yeah. good for six and up, you know, like a towel, you know, that you could whip someone with might be older, you know. Right, At least right, that's right. what I do with towels. Sure. Yeah, it's mostly fun for all ages. The puzzles themselves are actually kind of, they're small pieces. Uh, so they might be better for, you know, more adults, um, uh, 15 and up, I would imagine. And uh, yeah, they have these real cool like art crystal puzzles that uh, look like stained glass. So so it's kind of like a clear acrylic type puzzle piece. And when you put it all together, you can put it up against your mirror and it looks like a stained glass, you know, let's go like the My, My Neighbor Totoro poster or you know something with one of the, the characters. Uh, it, it's very interesting and it's not something I've seen before. All right, now do you have a, a location inside the San Diego Comic-Con Special Edition? Do you have a booth number for those who are actually gonna be? It'll be at... Booth, oh, 22, 2218 is where the Ghibli stuff will be located. Okay, 2218. Same, same with Nanoblock. It's a, it's a huge, we actually have four booths that are all just kind of crammed right by each other. Uh, and, and you can just go to 2218 and you'll find everything. Yeah, all right. What we're doing at the event is we have uh, this giant uh, Nanoblock Pac-Man and we're doing a contest where you guess how many pieces it took to make that nanoblock pac-man and if you're able to whoever gets closest is going to win an arcade one-up uh you know pac-man machine they're going to win this really cool uh, limited edition uh microsoft xbox uh that's pac-man theme for the 40th anniversary uh and then a whole bunch of nanoblocks and then we have other prizes we're going to win another arcade one-up and a whole bunch of other cool prizes uh so for that they just go to bluefinbrands.com contest and uh, all the information is there Sweet. And do they get the actual Pac-Man, too? The, you they know, don't get the Pac-Man. we got to take that to the next show and do it all over again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's about two feet tall. It's 20, 23 and a half inches tall, and I think it's like two feet wide. So 
it's a, it's a monster. It's big. So guys, it sounds very exciting. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some of these nano blocks. It sounds like some very cool stuff. Those who are watching, if you are going to the San Diego Special Edition, definitely stop by booth 2218. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks again, you guys. Um, and we'll see you next time. As always, have fun and follow your fandom.